Hey everybody, Hip Pause here. I just wanted to um, show a bit of a bug that I have found uh, with triggers and turning them on and off dynamically. Um, what I've got here are two triggers, and it's just a mesh here, um, that in Kismet are set up to basically, when you touch them, okay, they are re-triggerable with no delay and they just log the text working here okay this is working and let's um, let's do this instead I'll just change this to be uh, this, this will be red working and this will be blue working so they're different the same same basic thing and all I'm doing is on level loaded I'm toggling them off and on with a 0.5 second delay okay here's the two dynamic trigger volumes here I had another one here because I was trying to a long a different delay up here but I didn't need that so as these turn on it should fire that you're in it and it should say give you the text so when I hit play here on the red one says it once but it doesn't say it anymore now if I move it works and if I keep moving it works if I jump it works okay as long as I'm moving but if I stop moving nothing it's I feel crickets I feel them and now on the blue one, if I jump in here, I'm not moving, and it's firing over and over again. So why is the blue one working and the red one's not when they're the same? The red one doesn't work until I move. Well, the reason that the blue one's working is because show volumes one. Ta-da! The blue volume is spinning. That's why it keeps triggering. So I don't have to move because the volume's moving. But on this one, I have to move because the volume's not. So when a volume turns on, it doesn't register unless you're moving or the volume's moving. So it doesn't make any sense. Um, the way I made it move was simple. I just added an insert actor here that I put a matinee sequence on that that rotates it so if I drag this okay it's just rotates it to 360 and it's set to looping okay I got it set to looping and the trigger itself is attached to it here the base is the interfactor with a hard attach so that's how come this one works now you might think to yourself well wh why do you what does it matter who cares well like in any like any gameplay scenario I mean there's there's tons of them like what about if the trigger was a giant cube like I know this this is a this is a light mass important volume but what if it was a trigger volume and let's say it required a player to hit a switch before it detected how many people were in here and killed them right or it said um, like a, a an event happened where uh, the floor got electrified and you use a trigger event to, to determine the damage so if somebody if somebody went over and, and turned on the the light switch so this trigger is now activated so anybody in the trigger is gonna get killed well what about the guy that doesn't move you know, in my case, the reason that I discovered this, and this is weird because I've been on UDK since 2009, and I swear I haven't, dis I didn't discover this until 10 minutes ago. It's February 7th, 2014, and like I said, I didn't, I didn't figure this out until just a couple minutes ago, and the reason was is because I had a thing that I was doing where I was making bombs randomly uh, appear that you had to dodge, you know, like as if you know you're running through a map and there was a an airplane flying by it was dropping bombs randomly all over the place and I was using trigger volumes to determine if you were in the bomb radius 
So I realized that when the bomb landed like directly on me, if I just sat there like an idiot, uh, I lived. So I was actually promoting stupidity, and we can't do that. You know, can't do that. You just can't. You can't promote that. So that's why um, I. That's how I found out because I was like, wait a minute, how come it didn't work that time? And you would think, well, why would you be stopped in a level? I mean, for any number of reasons, you know. I mean, stopping in, you know, in a game, that's not supposed to be against the rules. And that's not supposed to be safety, you know. Okay, it doesn't help you, like, getting shot or whatnot, but, you know, it's, in a case like this, you know, if it's supposed to trigger a, a level swap or something, when a, when a timer goes down, um, you, you'd have issues, you know. And if you don't want to have, and if you want this trigger to be randomly moving around all over the place and then activating, you don't want to have to have 2,000, you know, a big array of triggers going all over the place and have them all activated and run a bunch of variables to say I'm in trigger 1 or 2 or 50 or 75 or anything like that. You want to move the one trigger around, just turn it off and on. So that's that's how, you know, that's how it's it's needed. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be that that, you know, we have to move to fire the trigger, you know. The trigger should just, like, fire itself. In my country, Trigger fires you. So, yeah, this is Hippon signing off, and hopefully Epic takes this uh, information and maybe does something with it since UDK hasn't been updated in a long time, guys. I don't know what's going on there, but um, I do know that it's still called beta. So if it's done, and we're not going to get any more updates because the updates were awesome. I cannot be the only one that feels like all almost all of the UDK updates were awesome. So a lot of them focused on mobile, and I hate that, but because I'm not making a mobile game, but I'm sure the mobile people were happy. But there has we haven't had anything new, so I don't expect this to be fixed. And I'm sad, deeply, deeply hurt. Not offended. I'm just hurt. My feelings they're they've been hurt. They're very sensitive. And I thought that maybe. Um, that this information could help other people that it, if cuz to me it felt like my my the bug that i was having was random like i just didn't i didn't understand what was going on i was going through my kismet over and over again and i was like what is going on why is it not working and i'm like moving around i'm like well it's working it's working and i'm like wait it stopped working what's going on and i could i didn't understand it and because my thing was random you know the uh the placement of the thing it didn't dawn on me that Wait a minute, the triggers don't work if you turn them on and you're not moving. You have to actually be jittering around. So if you are having issues with your triggers not moving or not working, check to see if it's because you know, when it gets turned on that it's not uh, it's not because you, you were stationary inside of it. Because And if it, if it is, maybe you, this could help you and you can trick it. So you don't have to move. The trigger moves, so then the trigger triggers you. All right, Hippo signing off, and uh, thanks for watching.